today's plan is to go to a nursery um, I'm looking for a certain type of planter and maybe I'll get a couple herbs that we don't uh, have anymore I do use herbs in cooking a lot so I love them and also we might drop in into either um, world market or Michael's or Joanne's it's been a while I'm actually thinking about another knitting project even it's summer but I mean you know knitting can be um, with some cotton or linen yarn so this is just a day of like enjoying the sun enjoying the weather and enjoying all the things I normally enjoy Absolutely love these. These grow like bushes, but I know that some of the species are trees. When I was growing up, we used to have a whole tree, and it smells so nice. But I'm not sure it will feel good on a balcony in winter, so maybe I should skip it for now. I was really enjoying the weather, very sunny but not hot yet and birds were singing. So Michael's was my next stop and I was looking for a little watering can, functional but also cute looking. Didn't see anything and went to check yarn. There's a lot of uh, cotton yarn actually and it was pretty inspiring. This is for crocheting and there were some for knitting with needles colors are so beautiful look at this peachy terracotta beautiful color or this one which is lighter and the quality is good and this one is echo cotton which got me interested and the price is good these are very silky and they're mostly cotton and cookie cutters but I don't want to gain more weight with my wonderful cookies this is a cute basket I noticed it last time as well it's probably a little too structured for being a purse but you can store magazines there store yarn or like put a planter in it so i also dropped into petsmart to uh, look for chewies for chuck and cooper i haven't even 
shown you Cooper yet, but he is very quiet and organized. One Chuck is the one who has this energy. And next stop was home goods. I also looked for the watering can, but these cans were very big. And you always have something to look at in home goods. Look at this cool cooler. And I might get a storage for dog food for Chuck. This looks cute. These little lunch boxes attracted my attention. They really looked like cute purses and they were like $7.99. So I am home. I bought a couple of things only. So in the garden center I bought um, tomato which is called yellow plum and I had it last year and it was very good. There was a lot of tomatoes on it and they are very very like they're not acidic acidic they are very uh, almost like sweet and this is basil it's called greek globe brownish a little bit right the bush very tiny leaves smells awesome oh those little leaves are easier to add to meals just for two people and also i got a big plate for under uh, a plant and Jack is very very annoyed here Shh. Shh. so I'll show you how I use it uh, because I have a huge planter outside uh, on the balcony which is not supposed to be like indoor and it never had a, a like drainage holes but I made some so now I need this just in case water pours out I also got my little puppies some treats but just a few because I don't know like I know they like these so this is also the for like cleaning teeth now he's like watching me he's like mom are you done I'm almost done so we'll see if they like those and then I can get more. I also got myself a donut, which I normally don't eat donuts, but I had a craving for something sweet and I saw that they restocked some um, donuts. So this is a pecan, butter pecan. So I will have some tea and a donut and maybe I will have a whole meal before. We'll see. So this huge planter where my um, tomatoes grow and this year we also have some blackberries here. So this planter is like supposed to be outdoor, but I needed it for my tomatoes so I can plant a lot of them. Because, you know, more soil, more nutrients for tomatoes, for any plant and more, um, more water. So what I did, I just got a little stand for it on wheels so I can move it around because of course it's very, very heavy when it's full with, uh, with soil. I also made some drainage holes, but obviously they don't sell uh, those saucers of this shape and size. So what I'm doing, let me just move this away. I'm just using, I'm just using a smaller saucer that I'm putting under where I know the drainage holes are. So if I over water the, the pot or if it's like rains like crazy and it over waters, there will be at least some water in here first before it like pours onto my neighbor. So this one actually is a small one. Um, I will clean it and use for another pot. And the one that I got today, the bigger one, I will use for under this pot. 
my love. a few days later and we will have a little project here on my balcony in my garden so I have this little branch that I basically snuck up uh, from a big tree it's a type of jasmine I'm not sure about the actual name of it but it smelled awesome and I've had this branch for a few weeks now it was in the water but it doesn't look to develop roots even though it's still alive and feeling well I mean it doesn't look like it's not well right just one leaf has something but so there's something that kind of looks like they might be first roots but I'm not sure um, and I want to help it develop the root system so what we will do we will do a little greenhouse situation we will plant this little branch into a little pot and then cover by uh, a former coffee jar so it does have a lot of uh, moisture and very very comfortable atmosphere <laughs> to, to grow hopefully it will help it develop better root system and just like grow in my garden of course I don't have a real garden yet so you might want to ask why you want a tree but you know by the time it's gonna be a tree I might already have a garden so we'll do that so I'll just turn on the time-lapse and we'll do this little project it's in its little greenhouse I will take it away from the balcony because it's gonna be pretty warm um, tomorrow and after tomorrow so I will uh, keep it inside for a couple of weeks probably in a very mild temperature and then see how it feels I will be opening the greenhouse just to um, have it have some uh, airflow and uh, if it really really looks good and everything is good with it it will mean that it's developing the root system especially if it's good but it's not growing up that much it must be growing somewhere right so it will probably develop the root system and that's what i want we'll see how it works i'll let you know i'll keep you updated and thank you for spending time with me i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in my next one